All right, so yesterday we finished up figuring out what the RPM of our idler pulley was, and we determined that was 3,543 RPM. Today we gotta go through, remember our ultimate goal here is to find out what our motor spindle is running uh, and what RPM that's running. So today we're gonna to real quick do that. We're gonna use the same formula here again so, and as we talk about it, okay, so this is the spindle that's rotating. So this is our input. Uh, we wanna know what this one becomes. So this is our outputs here. So uh, spindle, our angular velocity of W uh, equals our output, our input over our output, W out and the Diameter out equals the diameter in. That's our equation. So now I'm gonna substitute here. So my W input is my uh, W of PI1 over my output, which is my W of PM1. And that equals my uh, diameter of PM1 over my diameter of PI1. Alright, so there's my formula. Now I substitute. We know W of PI1 was 3,543 RPM. We are looking for W of PM1 one. My diameter of PM1 is 4 inches and my diameter of PI1 is 1 and a half inches. So now all I need to do is do my cross multiplication. We find out that 3,543 RPM times 1 and a half inches divided by 4 inches going to give me my WPM1, that's my motor speed. And let me get my calculator out real quick. 3,543 times 1.5 divided by 4 equals 1,328.625. We can just say that that is similar to 1,300 so my W of P M1 equals 1,329 RPM. That is how we work these uh, pulley and pulley belt problems to determine what speeds we can attain, what diameters by taking physical measurements um, on there, and then Ultimately, we can also determine the amount of torque that is put on one of these systems as well. So thanks for watching this lecture. I hope you pick up how to do these problems. Practice, practice, practice so you get to know. And of course, see me if you got any other questions. Very good.